Hi, this is Josh with Bigfoot Backpacking Gear Review. And I'm Todd. I brought Todd here today because he brags about his sleeping bag an awful lot. So I thought I'd let him talk to you about it today. Yes, well thank you Josh, I appreciate that. I try to be nice. <laughs> so you guys have all heard me, if you watched some of our other reviews, talk about um, the fact that I initially when starting to backpack, I had a lot of trouble with um, getting comfortable. You know, you go on a long hike, you're hauling a bunch of weight up into the mountains, and uh, then you're just uncomfortable and you can't sleep, yeah. and it sets the tone for the entire weekend, and it's not usually good if you're just sitting there and in your sleeping bag and you can't sleep and you're just uh, frustrated. Miserable. And part of the problems for me personally is I am a side sleeper and I tend to move around a lot when I sleep and um, I just even even with a larger I, I've never been good in a mummy bag um, but even in, I was in a larger Big Agnes bag um, the Lost Ranger which is actually a fantastic bag it really is a good good quality bag but even with that, it has the integrated um, pocket to put the pad in. And when you, when you put the pad into the integrated pocket, it stretches out the sleeping bag, it makes it taut. So then it, when you turn on your side, it was just barely enough room to turn on my side and it really restricted the movement. And so I, I really was not uncomfortable. That was the second bag I had tried and um, I thought it was gonna be the one, but I ended up moving over, doing a lot of research, and I moved over to the Nemo Strato Loft, which is this bag right here. And um, this is this is actually, it, it's not a small bag. I mean, it's not, it's borderline to be considered a backpacking bag. And I do backpack with it, so it's, it is a backpacking bag. Um, but it's it's not small, it's not lightweight, but it is big. And you can see by some of the pictures we have up of this bag, it, it's very big. Just a couple of quick specs on this bag. This bag retails for $369.95. So it's definitely not cheap. It's a 25 degree bag. And um, I've actually had it down to that. And with flying colors, it, it passed. Um, it's, uh, it's filled with 700 filled down with down tech. And um, it's three pounds, four ounces. That's the big gotcha right there. Um, so sacrifices for comfort. It's 78 inches or long by 36 inches wide so it's a fairly wide bag and it packs down to 7.2 liters um, in the uh, in the carry sack that they give you they also give you one to store it in you know like most high quality sleeping bags um, the shell is a 40d ripstop nylon and uh, because it's such a wide bag it allows for a, a 25 inch pad so this this also has the integrated um, sleeping pad and or sleeping case to slide your pad into and what's important to remember um, you most of you all will know this but whenever you have a sleeping bag that has that incorporated sleeve to put the the pad into the sleeping bag um, you have to keep in mind that the bottom of the sleeping bag is just nylon and it is fully meant to be used with an insulated pad um, approximately the same rating as the sleeping bag because then it completes the uh, warmth cycle uh, for the bag if, if uh, you you can't use it without the pad so that's meant to have the pad in there um, it, this this particular bag it has a soft blanket fold which is it's like you're sitting in bed and you have blankets you know folded down uh, it's very very comfortable um, it has a um, <clears throat> it used a huge oversized hood for your your head region um, it zips on both sides which is actually very nice because then you can do the whole blanket fold. You zip it down on both sides. And it can be, for those of you that backpack with your wives, it can be zipped together. So if you get two of these, then you can actually zip them together and you're really gonna be styling pretty good if you do that. Um, <clears throat> it has a, uh, a fully waterproof and breathable foot box, which is also very nice. And because it has dual zippers on each side, you can actually unzip the, the bottoms uh, towards your foot box if you get hot just to have ventilation down there on the side. So what I really, really like, uh, aside from the specs, okay, this is, a, this is really a great bag. And I was, of course, skeptical when I initially bought it. Nemo is, is a fairly high-end brand. Um, the products that they make are, are very nice. And my total... Uh, guess goal was just to be comfortable. I wanted to be able to sleep good um, when I went up backpacking 
and enjoy my trips more, wake up, be more thoroughly rested. Mm -hmm. And so when I got this, the first time I took it out, you know, I had to make sacrifices because it's so much heavier. I mean, this with my pad, I went up, oh geez, probably two pounds yeah. overall. Yeah. And that adds up. Um, Josh will tell you, I mean, we keep Adding. Just adding and creeping up on our weights. It used to be we were 38 pounds, then we were 40 pounds, and you know now we're like we're heavier. Let's just put it that yeah. way. I'm almost embarrassed to say, but we're a lot heavier. So I had to make sacrifices in other areas of my um, my complete backpacking system. I had to get a much lighter tent to kind of offset the two pounds I picked up here. And it really, really is it just a fantastic sleeping bag. It's got so much room. When I get in there, you can move around fully. I mean, it's like you're sleeping in your bed. It's fantastic. Uh, I do only have a 20 inch pad. So, and it's, it can accommodate up to a 25 inch pad, like I said. So there, there's a lot of room in the bag. It's not completely um, the, the sleeping, the 36 inch wide you know, sleeping bag. It's not fully taken up by the sleeping pad, which would be a little bit nicer if it was. But you know, then there's more weight with a larger pad. You know, it's more bulk. It takes up more room in your in your pack. So, overall, I highly, highly recommend this bag if you are a side sleeper and you have a hard time getting comfortable when you backpack, and it's uh, it's something that you've been dealing with. Well, you're not the only one. I was there. <laughs> he was. And honestly, I'm not a cupcake like Josh. No. You can just pretty much sleep anywhere. He wakes so. up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed with his for sure. I do. I do. So with this, we give this the Bigfoot backpacking stamp of approval. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and please subscribe to our page and thank you for watching. Thanks a lot.